say the least. Uh, the World Cup is coming up. My favorite sports time by far. For me, it goes World Cup, Olympics, March Madness. Those are my uh, top sports moments. Uh, so I'm excited, man. I cannot wait. Uh, but we're going to be making our 2022 World Cup predictions in this video. I've got some peppermint to go balls gum I'll be working on while we do this. Uh, I cannot wait. I'm so excited. I love the World Cup. Um, now, just to kind of preface this video, my knowledge of international teams is pretty limited. Um, I just play FIFA a lot. So while we uh, while we go through the groups, we're gonna go through the rosters as well to kind of help us make our picks. So we're gonna start out with group A and let me know down below um, what your picks are, who you think's gonna win it all. And if you think there's any uh, any like sleeper teams that might make a little run, Okay, so first up we've got Ecuador. Yo, he could be. I'm just trying to see if I. Felix Torres. See if I recognize some of these players. Smash Mendez. Okay. Then we got Netherlands, who are, of course, they're pretty much always a very solid team. Alexander Arnold, Kyle. 
assuming Matt Turner is a starter, I don't know for sure. And so, um, yeah, I mean, most people are just going to be familiar with uh, Pulisic, but, uh, I mean, we don't have a great team. We are, we are very middle of the pack, very middle of the pack. Let's see who Wales has got. I think um, I think that'll be the top contender who could keep the USA out in this group. Uh, they got Hennessy, Nice, and Gold, Ben Davies. And then 
Saudi Arabia is a bit of a lower tier team. I, I, I don't really like their chances here. So honestly, I'm going to go Mexico and then Poland. I think these could, these could go either way. I'm, I'm just going to say the middle two on pretty much any bracket can go either way. Most of these have like a uh, a real like powerhouse team, and then three like kind of middle slash lower tier teams that will have to kind of fight it out, which is good. I'm glad they don't like group together a, a ton of really good teams that just knock each other out. Although Group E has Germany and Spain, and they are both tagged. So uh, next up we got Group. So we got Tunisia, yeah, Tunisia, Denmark, France, and Australia. Let's see, Australia, Matt Ryan took a break from the Colts. Stopped throwing the ball and hopped in goal. Nice. Um, honestly, I, I don't think I know any of these guys. Oh, they got Schmeichel. Oh, nice. That dude's good. Dude's really good. Yeah, I, I wish I was more familiar with uh, international play. Of course, Christian Eriksen. Know him. <clears throat> good to see him playing again. Um, France. We got Ariola in goal. Oh my gosh, they got Hugo as well. That's crazy. They're just, they're stacked all over the place. They got Benzema. Kingsley Coman. Oh my gosh. Dembele. Giroud. Drott. Uh, Griezmann. Mbappe. Theron. Mwani. Rabio, I know him. Oh, Lucas Hernandez, Theo Hernandez. Conante. Yeah, so I mean, France is just really, really good at kicking the ball around. Really good. And then Tunisia, we got Dom in here. Ali Abdi. sort of a 
such a bummer. Okay, so Benzema is not going to be playing in the World Cup. That's that's big. I don't know if he was starting, but if he was, man, that's a big loss. Um, but yeah, so they've, so they've got Muslera, who in past World Cups has been a beast. Uh, they got Luis Suarez attacking. He's getting up there too, but I mean, he's still, still Luis Suarez. And I feel like even if they're like older players, like these guys just take it to a whole nother level during the World Cup. And that's why it's so much fun to watch. I'm gonna go Portugal here, Uruguay here, gone to number three. And we'll head to the round of 16 here. Um, now, as much as I would love to say the US will make a run, get a nice little, uh, a little quarterfinal action. I just don't see it happening. Not against the Netherlands. Who's on the Netherlands? Let's go. Let's let's double check this real quick before we decide. I don't want to jump the gun here. I didn't pass them, did I? Argentina. 
also could be Messi's last World Cup. So that's something to keep an eye on as well. Um, but between these two teams, I think I'm going to have to go with Argentina now to make it to the semifinals. Next up, we got Germany and Brazil, a couple of powerhouses meeting up in the quarterfinals on December 9th. Yeah. Man, that'll be a good matchup if it happens. I think Brazil is just too much for Germany. They move on to the semifinals to play against Argentina. Next up, we got England and France. We know how stacked France is. We know how stacked England is. Uh, Benzema is not going to be playing. But I don't think that makes a ton of difference for France. They've got too much, too many weapons. They advance to the semifinals. Next up, we got Belgium and Portugal, so Ronaldo into the quarterfinals. Tough matchup against Belgium. Both very, very solid teams. Pretty evenly matched, actually. But Belgium continues their Cinderella run into the semis. So we're down to, yeah, we're down to four teams here. Uh, so semifinals, so we've got Hey, we've got Messi. We've got Messi against Brazil. Against his old buddy Neymar. I think that'll be a great, great game, but Brazil, I gotta take them. I gotta take them. I just, I think they're just too much better than like almost every team in the field right now. Um, then next up we got France and Belgium now. Um, yeah, like I said, a bit of a Cinderella run here for Belgium. I think France is, uh, they've just got the overwhelming talent on Belgium and they take that one. And then next up, wouldn't this be a final? This would be insane. Brazil. France. Gosh, that would be an awesome game. I hope that happens. I would imagine they have got to be the two most talented teams in the field. Oh, I hope that happens. I would love that so much. But we have Benzema sitting out. Don't know if he's starting. Is he starting? He might be starting. Um, honestly, God, kind of a toss up. I want, I want to pick both of them, but there can only be one, and it's gonna be Brazil. So there you have it, guys. Brazil is the winner on December eighteenth, nine a.m. What day is that on? I hope it's on a weekend. Let me, I, I gotta check. I just, I, I gotta make sure here. Okay, cool. It's a, uh, it's on a Sunday. Love that. That's gonna be awesome. And what a great way to wrap up the World Cup. If that's the final, even if it's not, it's gonna be great no matter what. But if that's it, that would be awesome. What, a, what an awesome way to start a Sunday right there. Watch this, then shift to some NFL football, fantasy football, all that good stuff. That's going to be a really good day. Anyway, I cannot wait for it. Uh, we'll go ahead and save that. Oh, um, that's fine. But yeah, that is going to do it. Those are our predictions for this year's World Cup. Let me know down below uh, who you've got winning in the final, who you've got making it to the uh, 
my winner for this one. Can't wait to watch. I am excited. Uh, but anyway, guys, that is going to wrap this one up. As always, thank you all so much for watching. Hope you enjoyed it. Hope it was relaxing. And if you did like it, make sure you like, comment, and subscribe for more. And I will see you all next time. Goodbye.